democracy means to me that everybody is on an equal playing field and that everybody has a voice at the ballot box because we all have a voice in the ballot box. So growing up, um, I came from a small town, Duluth, Minnesota, and my parents were both teachers. And in college, I had the opportunity to intern with Senator Wellstone's campaign. And hearing Paul Wellstone talk about the power of people in communities to be the best decision makers for their communities, as long as um, they were able to have their voice heard, really, really inspired me. My family is, uh, is my support team. I'm really, really lucky to have such a wonderful husband um, and teammate in this work. And then my kids, uh, I think just being accommodating to me <laughs> is, the, is what they do best. In 2005, I moved to North Carolina and I saw firsthand how, you know, this, this community of Durham that I moved to was so civically engaged. And I was really inspired and, and thought back to what Paul Wellston was talking about. And I said, well, this is it, this is happening in Durham. We started out in Durham in response to the legislation that passed in 20, late 2013 uh, that changed our voting laws really dramatically because it is really confusing to vote in North Carolina, especially when the laws keep changing. It, it, it's hard for people who are new voters and voters who aren't regular municipal voters who don't vote every year to access a system especially you know, young people, are overwhelmingly apathetic and are overwhelmingly distancing themselves from anything to do with any of the major political parties. I realized that there needed to be some solution and some organization that helped people understand their right to vote, understand that we vote every year, and under, simply understand the mechanics of voting. And so our job is really to take the complex and um, legal information and distill it down into what this actually means. We need to make voting accessible and bring voting and this information to them. We need to talk to voters where they work, shop, um, where they live. In North Carolina, 85% of the people who are in jail or in detention are there because they can't afford bail. And a lot of those folks are eligible to vote. So we're partnering with several, several sheriff's departments to have our volunteers um, help those folks who are incarcerated and are eligible to vote to cast their ballots. When you put on that orange t-shirt and are working as you can vote volunteer, that is just about, hey, there's an election coming up, can I, can I tell you about it? Can I tell you about you know, how we can vote? I don't know what I'd do without the super strong team that I have around me. We're small but mighty, I say. And so I believe that we, like Paul Wellstone said, we all do better when we all do better. And so if everyone's voice is at the table, our democracy will be reflective of what it is supposed to be.